In this video, you're going to learn how to create an email campaign with MailChimp so that you can promote your blog posts to your email list. So you can promote products, market surveys, etc. The process is all the same and it's really, really simple to do. So what you want to do is log into your MailChimp account and then go ahead and click create campaign. Then we want to select create an email campaign. And what you want to do then is put in the campaign name. Now I always recommend that your campaign name be the same as the subject line that you're going to be using for the email. So I will just put in an example here, how to capture emails without a website and click begin. And I'm going to, by default, this will show and send it to your entire list. And I'd recommend that you do that. If you have a small list, if you have a very big list, you can start to segment it down if you want and send only this email to a certain segment of your audience. But for the most part, you'll probably be sending it to the entire list and you can leave that selected and then click next. Now in here, we want to fill out a little bit more of the campaign info. So as I said, I'd recommend that you use the campaign name, the same as the subject line. You can just edit those if you want. Next in, you want to add some preview text and this snippet will appear in the inbox after the subject line. So what you might do is if you've quite a long subject line, this probably won't even show in the inbox, but if you've got a very short sub email subject line, you can add this in. And again, you want to think about this in the same way as a subject line. Is this going to help people open the email? That's essentially what you want to do. So I can say, learn a really simple way. to capture emails needing a website. So again, kind of encouraging people to see the benefits and then I'll show them the how to once they open the email. Now the from name, um, this is my kind of personal email list. So I'll just leave it as my name, but it could be the company name. You want to put in your from address as well. And down here, you can see that there's a number of tracking options. Uh, probably the most important one that you want to enable is Google Analytics tracking. Uh, it'll walk you through the steps here to set that up. But if you haven't, what you can do is go ahead and click save and exit. And then you can come say to your dashboard in a new tab, you can come up to uh, account integrations. And then you can just connect with Google Analytics there. And the advantage of doing this and enabling this integration for this email campaign is that in your Google Analytics reports, in the campaign reports, you're going to be able to see how many people actually click through to your website from this specific email. And that is incredibly important to know. So you can check maybe the next day, okay, how many people actually ended up on my site because of this email. So that's really important to enable if you want to track that. Now, once you've got that done, you can click next. And in here now, there are a ton of templates that you can select. There are some really fantastic professional looking ones. You can drop images in, you can do all sorts of stuff. For this example, uh, you can just, I'm just gonna use a simple text. And to be honest, this is the type of email that I send out most often as well. I think it just is a little bit more casual, seems a little bit more personable. So. Uh, what you want to do is maybe adjust the first line in the email. And this can often be just the subject line again. And then what you can do is adjust the text as well. So I can say something like click below to learn how to set up. So what I've said there is click below to learn how to set up a free landing page with MailChimp so you can collect emails without needing a website. Now what I want to do is make sure that I input the link. Um, and what I can do is just actually paste a link in there if I wanted to. So I'll just say and what we really want to do now is just make sure that we actually put the link in there. So insert the link and insert that there. 
We can see that goes blue, so we're all good to go. Now down here below will actually be the information that you've put on your MailChimp account in terms of your physical address. Now this is required just for anti-spam measures and that's why MailChimp has included it there. Also you can see the option for people to unsubscribe which is uh, I think required but it's definitely best practice because you don't want to annoy people. Make it easy for them to unsubscribe if they want. Now once you've got that done you can see yeah, click save and close and what you can also do is actually input any of these buttons for example I could input a button there and change the text here and say something like learn more and what I can also do then is just actually put in I can put in the link there as well maybe I'll do that because it just grabs the attention a little bit more so we save and close that and we'll just need to edit our text again just remove that and then what we want to do is click save and close now we can click next and looks like we're all set to go now we can see we've got the green ticks against all of the different parts now a very important thing that you want to do before you go ahead and send out any emails is just make sure that everything looks okay so what i'd recommend you do is go ahead and send a test email and you can just send that to your own personal account and really you just want to look at this email from the perspective of somebody who's going to get it into their email account so to do that you want to log in to your email account and then you might have to wait a couple of minutes for this to come through and you can see it there it says test here but it's not going to say that in the real email and how to capture emails without a website so ask yourself would I open that is that a good enough subject line should I maybe change it you can see the snippet text here as well is that being cut off is there more important information that could move to the start of that again really ask yourself would you open this email because if you're saying I don't know or maybe not well then maybe you can come back and work on this because that's critical to people even clicking through to your website. So once you're happy with the subject line or have spotted something you can improve, you can open the email, check the spelling, maybe read it out loud a couple of times, make sure the information here is accurate and most importantly make sure this link is working. Now I just put in an example link there but you want to make sure that it's going to the right page um, because that's one of the most important things. So if there are any things that you feel you could improve upon or need to edit, you can just come in and edit the different sections there. And then once you're happy, you can actually go ahead and schedule the email if you want. So when you're thinking about sending out your email, you want to think about, okay, who, who are your audience? If you have a global audience, you want to send it at a time that really hits the maximum amount of people. For example, I'm in Dublin, Ireland. Usually I send my emails about five o'clock in the afternoon that's usually about nine o'clock in San Francisco about lunchtime in New York and that allows me to cover the maximum amount of people that I can from my audience you don't want to be sending your emails when everybody's in bed uh, etc so if it's hard for you to manage the time you can schedule it or you can go ahead and click send now and then you can just go ahead and click send to send that out and uh, that is really how you create an email campaign in MailChimp. It is a really important thing to do if you want to drive website traffic from your email list or drive sales. So it's a simple process and uh, it's really the same for whatever objective that you have. And the most important thing once again that I would recommend is that you go ahead and send that test email every time. I guarantee you, you're going to spot a couple of things that you could improve upon or a couple of mistakes to edit before you click the final send button.